Hello, in this video we'll learn how we can create a new project and how we can scale the drawings. First of all, you have to know the software is divided by parts. This is the first part, we name it ribbon bar. You can find here tabs and under tab you can find group of buttons. And this is all the function you can find it here. At the same time in this part, pages and bookmark, you can see the list of the drawing, which is we learn how to load it. And once you select one drawing, you can see it here. This part is related to template. If you want to build template to the system, and later we will discuss how we can create and use templates. We can hide any of this part for wide range of the drawing. And now the first thing we have to do is to create a new project by click home, then new. Once you click new here, you have to select the job or type the job number and here you can make description you can add notes and be sure that you are select the metric if you will use the metric system new job location this is will help you to create the location which is you want later we will show you in the setting how you can create a different job not the local by default plan swift is installed in c program file and your saved file will be there in the jobs folder Later, we will show you how you can create a new job location. Plus, there is a small video here you can check if you want. It will show you how to can make the new job. I will click next, then browse. Always use browse. Don't use here. If you will use here, it will show you the folder breakdown, which is well not convenient while you are working. Most of the time, it's better to select from browse. All your project you must put it in one folder all drawing related to one project I mean and you have to select group or you can't check it all you have to know that Planet Swift is able to open any kind of drawings click next next finish if you're drawing TIFF drawing or picture file or PDF file or DWF or DWG Planet Swift will be able to open it and you can see it after a few seconds in your left side This is our new job. This is the job number. You can see it here. At the same time, we can see the list of the drawings. You can open AutoCAD drawings to check it if it contain of layout. For any drawing, you can make zoom in, zoom out. You can go to page and rotate it. Page here, you can rotate left, right, or 100. The most difficult thing when you work with PDF, because of this we will try our work in PDF. After you load the drawing and check it, you can click here to add pages or go to pages and click add pages to add more drawings if you want. You can select and here browse and select if you have any extra drawing, you can add it here. After you load the drawing to be able to work with the takeoff items to take the measurement if it area or linear or segment or you want count item, first thing you have to scale the drawing. How we can scale the drawing? Scaling the drawing have two ways. One, we don't recommend that you can check the scale of the drawing and mention here this is 1 to 100. Even the software will show you a disclaimer because this one is BDF and we will not be sure this is the correct scale. The best way to scale is to find known measurement in the system. If you don't find known measurement in the drawing, sorry, if you don't find known measurement in the drawing, you have to find reference like door, like parking, like distance between any two points, you know it, how much is it exactly. And you click here, scale. Type this measurement per meter, per centi, per kilo, it's up to you, and type it here, it's 52.5 meter applying scale to all pages this will apply same scale of the drawing to all this drawing and we don't recommend at all because most of the time your drawing will comes in different scale okay because of this never use it just go one by one and scale I will use it now just to not waste your time scale all the drawings I'll click OK 
another time okay and here I have to follow the software you told me here click first point of dimension for scaling I will click the first point then he told me click end point for di office of dimension for scaling also if I keep if I keep press an M button in my keyboard this is will be magnified it will show me magnifier which has helped me to select the drugs the, the points accurate especially in media if you are working AutoCAD in AutoCAD you will find snapping option snapping option will help you more to pick the points more accurate <clears throat> also for extra accuracy we prefer you to scale the vertical scale that mean we have to take two direction X and Y as you see here the software is detect in which direction already we scale the drawing and if we scale it again in another direction he will mention also or he will feel or he will understand that we are already take two scales in different and he will work and take the measurement based on this here it will show you that he detect already this is two scale two different one vertical and one diamond one uh, one vertical and one horizontal and is working now perfectly problems maybe you will face after you take the scale as we said before if you don't have any known measurement like here you can go and take any reference like door if you don't know the total scale or if you make a mistake while you are taking the scale simply you can click here and click clear scale this is will delete the scale in the drawing and you have to rescale it again you can use clear scale even if you take measurement and you finish your total work because the software will calculate the final measurement based on your final scale now we scale to be sure about the measurement find any known measure click dimension and select the points and check it here you have to pick the point click 5.4 which is 5.4 down that means your measurement is accurate and now we can click here to hide the scale and we are ready to start take measurement see you in next video